I'm just talking to myself. So yeah, what, what do you need? What tools would be, would I need to start my prepping journey? A lot of you might think this, it's like a Dremel. This is a Proxon, same thing. This is a bit more heavy duty. You'd be wrong. But this has got its uses. This has got its uses. But I have seen a lot of videos of people saying, yeah, you know, uh, let's clean some fossils. And then just like grinding uh, away and inevitably just grinding straight through the actual fossil as well as the matrix. So, I mean, I use this for polishing, for grinding, uh, shell, like thick shell on things to, to so you can polish it down. The, the main use for this in my workshop, a Dremel or Proxon, is cutting discs. So I'll whack a cutting disc in there. I can use that to cut away the matrix where I know I'm not going to hit anything like cutting out openings on big uh, ammonites and things like that. Like, uh, so I can really get in there and make them, <laughs> make them really zing. So not a Dremel type uh, piece of equipment, Dan. What should I use? Firstly, you need a compressor. The compressor is your workhorse. It's your heartbeat of your workshop. It's where you get, every, you know, all your tools are going to run off your compressor, apart from the Dremel, because that's electric. You know what I mean? Mm. First compressor, second, an air scribe, an air pen. <coughs> What's an air pen? So an air pen, is basically a pneumatic engraver and uh, it's got a tungsten carbide tip uber uber hard uber uber hard so basically someone thought you know what this i can engrave metal with this this will eat through rock like uh, a lightsaber through a soggy cabbage this has kind of become the 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 staple of a fossil preparator's uh toolkit I do the majority of my work with with this bad boy. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, it's like a it's like a mini jigger picker. You know, like a jigger picker on the. I can actually hear him. The jigger picking outside there. It's really ten o'clock, and the jigger picking outside. Ten o'clock. Oh yeah, we closed your road. Ah, don't worry about it, you. <sighs> So people now manufacture air scribes dedicated to uh, to the fossil trade, to paleontologists, people who clean fossils. There are a few dedicated people. There is Ken Mannion in England who makes his own air scribes. And there is a company in America, uh, I think they're called uh, Paleo Tools. Uh, yeah, and they, they make pens, but they, they're sort of based around uh, the Chicago Pneumatic Air Scribe, the CP, what is it, one sec, CP9361. Can you hear them? 10 o'clock. So there you have it. The, the workhorse of the Mechanical Preppers Armoury. CP9361. Oh, you can prep manually as well with, um, with a set of pins, uh, special pins, and a hammer. Like, you know, that's probably about, I don't know, 50 of them. I know Phil at the Heritage Centre in Charmouth, he still preps like that. <laughs> like the Victorians. He'll be wearing, uh, he'll be wearing tweed and have a flat cap soon. I bet, he, I bet he drinks real ale as well. So yeah, get the biggest compressor, because if you've got uh, a small compressor, that air pen will uh, deplete the tank, the motor will kick in, and then it'll just be catching up with itself, and the motor will be on constantly, and your compressor will burn out and explode. Uh, might not explode, but you know, it'll burn out and it, it won't last very long. So if you've got a big tank, it'll fill up, you'll, you'll use it, you'll probably use it for five, ten minutes, and then the compressor will kick in, and then it'll fill it back up again, and then you've got another five, ten minutes before your engine comes. So it's got time to, to come on, work, cool down, and your compressor will last a lot longer. The bigger your compressor, the longer it's going to last if you're, if you're doing a lot of prep work for hours on end. So once you've got your pen and your compressor, you can crack on. There you have it. Uh, I will be putting up some more videos uh, very soon on uh, certain blocks. I've got some nice blocks I'm going to be working on. While I'm prepping those blocks, I can talk you through what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. 
uh, to give you a bit of an idea of the process that I go through while I'm uh, while I'm cleaning fossils. It's really difficult to explain. Um, I'm just going to have to do it, show you visually. But yeah, that'd be good. We'll crack on. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all the stuff that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going down the beach, going to be doing a bit of collecting, going to be in the workshop, going to be doing a bit of cleaning. It's going to be brilliant. Just, yeah, subscribe. Do you think that was a bit, a bit pushy?